Philo TV is the best budget streaming service if you don't want to watch live sports without cable. But with their rate increase of five to $25 a month a few months ago, we want to answer the question, is Philo TV worth it? In this new Philo TV review video, we cover the channels and features you get for $25 a month so you can decide whether or not this is a good cord cutting option for you. We'll cover the Philo TV channel lineup, the local channel situation, what cloud DVR features it includes, how to get the Philo TV app on Roku, Fire TV Stick, and other devices, and answer that all important question for you, is Philo TV worth it? Yeah, and stick around to the end because we'll share our best way to watch live sports without cable if you have to have them, like me, since Philo does not carry sports channels. With that, let's dive into our review of this popular cable replacement option. Now, we reviewed Philo about a year ago and felt it was time for an update, especially with the Philo price increase a couple months ago. Let's start with the price, which is its most attractive feature. Philo TV costs just $25 a month, making it the leader in low-cost streaming providers. Many live TV streaming services cost $50 or more. YouTube TV and Hulu Live are $65 a month, and that's before add-ons. If you're looking to cut the cord on cable, you're likely doing it to save money. And if you can live without sports and local channels, Philo could save you $75 or more each month. Philo had kept its price at $20 a month for a long time, despite rising costs across the streaming space. In June of 2021, it increased its price to $25 a month, citing carrier fees as the reason. You see, streaming services like Philo have to pay content networks like HGTV, Animal Planet, Bravo, and others to carry their shows. When the carriers increase their rates, streaming services have to absorb it and find ways to make up the difference, or pass on the cost to their subscribers, which results in higher fees. Thankfully, Philo also upgraded its DVR capacity and added a few extra channels. Let's talk about the Philo TV channels first. There are currently 66 channels on Philo, including four free ones it recently added. Those were Bloomberg TV, Cheddar News, Crackle, and Reverie. As you can see, the Philo channel list includes popular lifestyle and entertainment content from networks like Discovery, A&E, AMC, Animal Planet, Food Network, Hallmark, MTV, Nickelodeon, HGTV, History, BET, TLC, and more. And it has some news channels as well, like BBC and Cheddar News. Yeah, but it doesn't have any major cable news networks like CNN or Fox News, and it doesn't have any sports networks. So there's no ESPN, Fox Sports, or any of the college football networks. There's no hockey, baseball, or NBA. But there is another affordable streaming option for live sports in Sling TV. We covered this recently in our Sling vs. Philo review video. A Sling Orange subscription will get you ESPN for $35 a month, and a Sling Blue subscription will get you all the Fox Sports channels and NFL Network for the same low price. It's a great budget option if you can't live without live sports like myself. Another thing Philo is missing is local channels. Thankfully, you can get those easily with an antenna, which we cover in depth in our video on how to watch local channels without cable. For one upfront cost of about $50, you can get all your locals free for life. Now, not having locals or sports doesn't mean that Philo isn't a good option. Even with just an antenna, you will still get whatever sports are aired on your local networks. So if you don't need every game, this can still be a great option for you. If you're new to cord cutting or still have cable and want to know more about streaming before you take the leap, sign up for our Kill Cable Cord Cutting course, which is now available to purchase using the link below. In it, we talk about everything you need to cut the cord on cable for good and save big money each month without giving up your favorite shows and sports. We go over the equipment you need to stream, how to test your internet speed, set a streaming budget, get sports without cable, and tons more. It's a great new resource, so definitely check that out. Yeah, it's a great resource for those new to cord cutting, and it helps you understand the whole streaming landscape, including why services are priced the way they are. Now getting back to Philo, one other thing to note about its channels is that you can also add Epics or Stars for six and nine dollars a month respectively. It also offers a seven day free trial, which you can sign up for with just an email address and credit card using our link below. All right, let's move into a new feature Philo added when it increased its price, unlimited cloud DVR with the ability to store recordings for a year. 
before and for subscribers still on Philo's $20 a month plan, users can keep recordings for just 30 days. The volume is still unlimited, but the new $25 plan lets you keep your recordings for a year, which is very generous. Even YouTube TV only lets you keep recordings for nine months on its unlimited cloud DVR, which we cover in our YouTube TV review video. Now let's get a look at what it's like to watch TV in the Philo app. We'll touch on how to record shows and view recordings here as well. If you've used other cable alternatives, one of the first things that you'll notice about Philo is its slimmed down home screen and user guide. It has the basics, but nowhere near the content and therefore categories as something like Hulu Live or Fubo TV has. You'll see promoted content, then shows that you've been watching, followed by items you've saved, trending shows, and then categories that Philo thinks will help you find something to watch, like DIY and top movies. You know, they also have some fun categories like throwbacks and family-friendly movies finished at the bottom with new and upcoming. You can get to the TV guide by selecting Guide at the top of the frame. Networks or channels will appear alphabetically. The first time you use Philo, there won't be any favorite channels, but as you favorite networks that you like, those will appear first at the top of the guide. To start watching anything, just click on it. You can click right to see what's coming up. When you find something that you want to record, just click the little plus button, which adds the show to your saved list. These are your DVR recordings, and they will be kept for you for a year. You can get them anytime by clicking Saved at the top of the frame. You can also search for anything in the handy bar at the top. Other features to like about Philo include the ability to stream on up to three screens at once and create up to 10 profiles. It also has on-demand content from the networks it carries. Remember that like all streaming services, there are also no fees and you can pause, start, or stop at any time. Philo streams its content in 720p and in on-demand content at 1080p. You should have at least 7 megabytes per second in your internet speed to stream Philo without interruption or annoying buffering. If you want to watch on two screens at once, you'll need 14 Mbps and three screens will require 21 Mbps. One downside to Philo is that it does not currently offer parental controls, so parents will want to factor that in for young children. Like all the popular streaming services, you can watch Philo on Roku and Amazon devices, smart TVs, or really anything with a screen. So was Philo worth it? Ultimately, the answer comes down to what you want to watch. If you don't need sports and like the Philo lineup, it's a great deal. Its channel lineup and unlimited DVR and ability to stream on three screens at once are all very attractive. Yep, and if you have to have live sports and an antenna alone isn't enough, look at Sling TV for $10 more a month. Ultimately, we think that Philo TV is totally worth it as long as you can live without live sports. But it isn't for everyone, and we're actually a great example of that. We subscribe to Sling instead because it has news and ESPN, which we like to watch. But if Philo has the channels that you enjoy watching, it's a great option, and you can use the free trial to test it out and see what you think of it. Well, that does it for this review. Would the lack of sports and news channels keep you from trying Philo? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.